Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so this is going to be a makeup collection. Basically everything you see back here. Um, video. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna try and do it a little bit vlog style. I might switch and handhold from time to time because I am the only one in this room, in this house. And I've been meaning to film this video for such a long time now. Um, so the makeup that you're going to see here today or what you're going to see on these cabinets are things that I gravitate towards um, very, very often. Everything else that you see, like the flowers, the books or whatever, are obviously going to be for aesthetic reasons. But the makeup that I'm going to be showing you is makeup here makeup in the drawers as well as you can see the drawers here i've tried filming this video three times and it's been it's been a hell of a schlep it's been a hell of a schlep but we're gonna try and win today today we are in it to win it um so i'm gonna pretty much adjust move angle the camera around so that you guys can see what i'm focusing on at the time and when i go into the drawers i'll obviously attempt to either hand hold or use the tripod as well. We'll see how it goes um, so that I can show you what is in the drawers as well. So pretty much this top layer here is what you see in the background of my videos for really just for aesthetic purposes. So these fake flowers um, I picked up a while ago, long time ago from Mr. Price Home along with the container that is in the flowers. I can even show you what it looks like, that that's what it's look it looks like. Uh, but I picked these up a while ago and what you can see here is basically the books that I have loved reading and I constantly read all the time or gravitate back towards or read a second time like The Sun and Her Flowers from Rupi Kaur or uh, Paolo Coelho, the manuscript of um, the manuscript found in Accra, which is one of my faves, especially in terms of just picking out little anecdotes from the book. Um, uh, Return to Love from Marianne Williamson as well as A Year of Miracles I also keep here because these are books that I'll keep dabbing into when I need some sort of quotations or inspiration somehow and that kind of stuff. Um, what's back here is just a little container that I picked up from Superbalist a long time ago and I put these little tiny um, mirrors like uh, mirrors that you would take and put in your bag like these pocket sized mirrors uh i just put extras in there and i leave it in there yeah and then in here i've got a little container from mr price um this used to be a candle and the brushes that are in here are from mr price i received them a while ago at the mr price uh event that i went to for scarlet hill the beauty brand so i haven't used them as yet so i just leave them there and it sort of reminds me to use them from time to time just a little um trinket of um lip pencils uh brow pencils some things from switch beauty here at the back here for lips as well uh these are i got these a while ago in a benefit um what's this a benefit press package uh the, these are the lolly tint lolly tint cha cha tint you can use it on your cheeks and i don't honestly gravitate to that as much but from time to time i will dabble into it so this is also another corner that you don't really you'll see in my backgrounds sometimes um but these are some products from that's a zara perfume that's a bobby brown foundation actually which i felt like looks really really good there and that is um the box for the new theory ColourPop. i think it was was it a lip what is it lips yeah lip products those lip products and i think it just brings a really nice pop and of then right next to that sitting on another ornament is the um my lip bees that i don't really gravitate to as much but I, I i'll pick them up from time to time some of the colors are not colors that i would wear a lot like this um this what's this retro matte or MAC, MAC liquid lipstick. It's not a color that I would gravitate to a lot, but it's not a color that I wouldn't wear either if I were to mix it with something else. Um, there's some things from Anastasia Beverly Hills in here, liquid lipsticks, 
uh, liquid lipsticks from L'Oreal. I've spoken about these so, 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 so many times. I absolutely love them. Um, there's a Scarlet Hill lipstick in here as well. Picked this up from Mr. Price from that event. Um, uh, also, um, Makeup Revolution lipstick. I actually really, really love this one. Pretty much that is um i keep just sort of extra lip products there's some from ColourPop in here as well bobby brown smashbox so there's quite a few and i just keep them in here and i put them there so that i can find them when i need them that's how that one works this angle here is a little bit tricky but you're gonna have to bear with me i'm really not gonna show you much of what's in here because it's just extra stuff like concealers um, I've got some of my higher-end lipsticks in here. It's just a bunch of stuff and I gravitate, I'll lean towards them when I need them, uh, but I hardly ever jump into these unless um, I want to revisit one of my highlighters or something like that. So I, I hardly ever really jump into that. Here at the corner, we've got um, just some setting sprays, two setting sprays, one from Mr. Price. Uh, which is back here. That's the one from Mr. Price. And then this is one from uh, Bobby Brown. I don't also use them as much, but sometimes when I'm popping in and out and I want a quick setting spray and my makeup bag is no nowhere nearby, I'll just pop that and then pop it on my skin because I really like both of them, so I don't mind. And then, of course, this is a Benefit Cosmetics uh, brush case, but um, it's got a little bit of real techniques in there, crown brushes, um, not Benefit Cosmetics, BH Cosmetics, uh, some BH Cosmetics brushes. It's just a mix, miscellaneous brushes, different types of brands. And then in the front here, I've got the Nooks Oil, which I love absolutely so, so, so much. It's one of my favorite oils, and I always keep it there. I use it a lot in the wintertime, but sometimes if I'm feeling dry and stuff and I'm in here, I'll take it and spray it on my hands or on my body. And yeah, so these are the drawers. Um, I picked this desk up from Decorama. I get asked this de about this desk a lot. And normally there's a that chair over there is sitting right here. So I had to move it for the purpose of this video. But I picked the chair and the desk up from a store called Decorama. It's in the East Rand. So now I'm going to show you pretty much what's in both of these drawers. So pretty much... In a vlog that I did a while ago, I bought these containers from Westpac and I actually showed the process of me separating my makeup and changing up my makeup setup. Um, so when you open this, this is pretty much where I will reach into this almost every single day. It just depends on whether I need the makeup or not. Some makeup is in my bedroom, like uh, foundations that I use on a daily basis or whatever. But I reach into this drawer very, very often, especially when I'm recording. Um, so in here, we've got foundations. We've got your lower end foundations, which are here. Um, makeup Revolution, uh, True Match, uh, LA Girl, Revlon, Maybelline Superstay, which is one of my favorite foundations. You guys know this. Candid is back there, which I used recently in a video. Uh, Fit Me. Some of my other lower end foundations are in my bedroom, like two. I think there's one from Sobey and the L'Oreal, the L'Oreal one that everyone loves. Infallible is in my bedroom. And then this side are the more higher end foundations. We've got a Tom Ford one there, Clinique, MAC. Um, Estee Lauder, this is double wear nude, the double wear, normal double wear is in my bedroom as well because um, I use that one quite often, uh, Mac Ma Match Master, Lancome, a Dior one, um, Urban Decay, two Urban Decay ones, Bobbi Brown, so on and so forth, so those are the slightly more expensive ones. And then when you move to the back here, these are pretty much concealers, so this is the MAC one that I use quite a bit. And some Maybelline ones there. And NYX one, um, Makeup Revolution, Benefit one. Yeah, and one from Black Opal, I think, at the back there. But a lot of my concealers are actually above. They're in that space over there. But these are the ones that I like the most. And I will pretty much gravitate towards the most. And then next door are... Um, lip glosses. Most of my lip glosses that I currently use are all in my makeup bag, which is in my bag, my handbag. So a lot of them are not in here. 
I will keep like six or seven lip glosses in my bag. I don't even use all of them at the same time. But the ones that I've got in here are MAC, Hot Lacquer from Maybelline, one of my favorite ones. I love that one. Um, the lip gloss from Revlon. That's a Scarlet Hill one. And I don't know what the scroll cream is doing in there, but we're going to leave it in there for now. And then uh, right next to it in this little open space here, I've got the Real Techniques um, sponges, extra ones, just for extra times. And then at the back here, I've got all my lashes. So lashes sit here, Wispies, uh, the Eyler lashes. I'm not too crazy on lashes, but I keep them here. There's a set that's actually in my bedroom, the Catalea lashes that I need to try from a friend of mine, Roxanne, and some lash glue from Kiss as well. So I keep all of that in here, just extras. Um, yeah, and then in here, we have palettes and we have mascaras. So starting at the back there, we've got mascaras. These are mascaras I haven't opened. There's one from Scarlet Tail. I'm not too crazy on expensive mascaras. So uh, my favorite ones are these ones from um, Essence. These are the Princess Lash Mascara. Love those. A Maybelline one in there. Uh, I recently took out a L'Oreal one that I absolutely love was sitting in there as well and at the back there are my MAC lipsticks which I can never let go of I love my MAC lipsticks okay I love them and one Bobbi Brown one she's lost I feel like she shouldn't be in here yeah I'm gonna put it you're gonna put her in there at the back there just below is a palette from for the Queens which doesn't fit in my palette holders here and just above that are all brow products a lot of them from julienne one from revlon blah 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 not too much but yeah brow products and then in here are palettes i think about five five palettes are in my bedroom quite a lot like um, a tart one the black tart one i forgot what it's called a morphe one so quite a few of them are in my bedroom but these are some of the ones that i have in here there's juvia's place at the bottom there uh, Urban Decay, Inglot, Little Rock. This is one of my favorite palettes. I can never let her go. I absolutely love her. I just hate how dirty they get. But um, a tart one. Yeah, the other tart one that I have is like this, but it's it's black. It's in my bedroom. I forgot. I, f I forget what it's called. I really do forget what it's called. And then in here we've got an Urban Decay one as well, Born to Run. Below that we've got a Stila one, a Morphe one. Just below that. Um, this is a Tom Ford one, which I always keep. I just feel like you you got to preserve it. it. just looks nice. <laughs> and then here are the slightly cheaper palettes. I received these ones from Scarlet Hill. This is a blush palette um, and a eyeshadow palette. There's another one that's missing. I need to add in here. Um, and then Makeup Revolution, NYX, Yardley ones, and the Balm Cosmetics at the back there that's pretty much all that's in here um what happens is <clears throat> right there oh, that's my handbag that drawer there <laughs> that first one is full of makeup and it's makeup i don't use it's makeup that i leave for my friends when they come by they know that they look in that first drawer there but it is an absolute tip so i'm not going to show you and that's my handbag it's my cute handbag sitting over there um yeah pretty much it yeah. i'm just going to show you this first drawer we're pretty much done now thank goodness this first drawer here the other two are a mess a tip and i'm not going to show you there are some extra powders that i really enjoy there's a rimmel one here uh, if i can get it out there's a rimmel one here i really like that lasting powder it's slightly dark on me but i do enjoy the finish of the powder um an la girl one we love this this is an og this is definitely an og got highlighters here all from mac gold deposit and this is i think global glow and this is shafts of gold and just some extra extra stuff that i don't really gravitate towards as much but i want to find them when i need them i need to access them easily and then here are some ColourPop eyeshadows and stuff and the essence ones that I tried out a while ago I think I need to metallic shocks uh, metal shocks I think I need to give these off to my friends and then everything here is new stuff that I haven't used so this is a fix plus matte I only realized when I came home with it that it's matte I was very very upset um, 
miss london highlighter another uh what's this mac studio fix because i go through that very quickly an la girl powder what is it called luminous glow i haven't tried that out yet these are things that i get sent in press packages um this is an illuminator as well from Bionic or Bionic or whatever and then this is uh, darkening drops from Palladio I've got the lightning drops in my uh, bedroom and this is the original Mac Fix Plus so these I haven't touched yet or um, I haven't used yet I haven't had the time to use them as yet extras and that's pretty much it so that is pretty much it for this video that is the makeup that I use quite often I had to downsize this is nothing compared to the makeup that I used to have but I honestly really got tired of it and I felt like I'm not going to get through all this makeup and I am not your Carly Bibles and your Nicole Guerreros and your Missy Lynn's and all these famous influences that get given. I don't get many press drops in terms of makeup so what I do get, what I do buy, if I see that okay I need to get rid of some things it's becoming too much i give it off to my friends i give it off to family that kind of thing uh, but this is pretty much most of what i use regularly um i hope you guys enjoyed this video i really it was fun filming it it was kind of stressful but fun um i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one Sayonara.